everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with a video that makes me really, really happy. However, I am going to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. You can see from the title that this is a, a massive, massive declutter for me and my collection. I have in front of me two huge boxes that I use to get uh, books in that are full with makeup that I'm getting rid of. So um, first disclaimer, no, I will not send it to anybody. I understand that I might be decluttering something that you really, really, really want, but this is going to be split up to friends, to family, and then it will be given to women's shelters where women in need can use the makeup. And when it can't be sanitized, it'll just be thrown away, or if it's expired, it'll just be thrown away. The second disclaimer is that if I'm getting rid of something that you absolutely love, it does not mean that you're wrong for loving it. It does not mean that I am in some way judging you. It's just that these things don't work for me personally, and they're not making me happy. I'm not reaching for them. Which leads me to my third disclaimer and what I was probably most nervous about sitting down to film this, and that is that I am getting rid of a lot of makeup, and I still have a lot to go through. So I'm really trying to get my collection to a manageable number. I have done a declutter on this channel before, I'll link that up above, and it was pretty sizable, but this one is definitely larger. I have a lot that I wanna use, and only so much that I can use before things expire. I don't wanna keep things that I don't love using. I'm counting this as a giant lesson learned, I'm going to be so much smarter about my purchasing going here forward. Apprehension comes with being a part of the panning community and people saying, oh, there's a way you can use that. You can absolutely turn this into an eyeshadow instead of a bronzer, or you can use this foundation to lighten up another one, etc., etc." I understand there's probably a ton of ways that I could pan these products, but I have so much else to use that that these things that I don't like or don't work for me would just be taking away time from products that I love that I would like to be using before they go bad. I'm not doing that to myself. I need to get my collection down. This is a huge declutter. I probably don't foresee myself doing one this large in the future because I hope to never have this much excess. This is the end of my disclaimer. I'm sorry if it upsets you. If you're not interested in seeing me get rid of a lot of new products or a lot of products in general, by all means, you don't have to watch, but I'm not sending this to you. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this smaller box. Some of this is stuff that I have decluttered while doing my makeup collection series. So as I've been filming, whatever doesn't work for me, I've kind of been putting off to the side. So some of this you might have already seen, and some of this you might have seen in a collection video. And I will be amending my numbers at the end of my collection series and at the end of this declutter. And I'll be giving you my absolute totals once I'm done decluttering and doing my whole collection series. Let's get into this box. This is an e.l.f. foundation. This is the foundation serum in light medium. I thought that I might be able to keep this and use this, but it really is just way too yellow. I'm warm to neutral leaning, and this one is just super, super yellow, and also just not the kind of coverage that I'm looking for. I'm getting rid of a couple of Wet n Wild products that I love, love, love the color payoff on these, but they're not colors I'm reaching for. I'm getting rid of the Petal Pusher and I'm getting rid of the Blue Had Me at Hello. Again, these are things that if you use purples and blues a lot, you'll absolutely get enough use out of, but I have some purples in other palettes. I have purples in my Makeup Geek singles, blues in my Makeup Geek singles, and they're not colors that I reach for enough. I'm also getting rid of this Essence one. This is in 01 Nude. They're not horrible, but again, I have other shadows that are close enough to these, and they all kind of look similar on my eyes. They get kind of muddy. Not a huge fan. I'm getting rid of my Kat Von D Sinner palette. This is one of my older palettes, and again, I don't reach for these smoky ones or these purples enough to keep that. Hard Candy Top 10 Eyeshadow Collection. These are all shimmer. And I did get some use out of this, but needing a companion palette with this and the packaging always breaks on me. Like the hinge on these always breaks. So I have enough other shadows that dupe that. I'm also getting rid of my City Colors Barely Exposed palette, which I talked about in my collection video as being a naked dupe. And it is, and I could pan this, but honestly, I don't reach for it enough. And I have other shadows that are similar, so I'm just going to pass it along. I also realized that I have never swatched or used my Wet n Wild palette coming in latte. So I never use this. I can give this to my nieces or one of my sisters or 
an ant or someone else. Um, I have enough neutrals in my other palettes. I don't need to keep that. I'm also getting rid of a BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Pride, Prejudice, and Zombie Limited Edition Collectors palette. Push comes to shove. I don't need these blushes. I don't need these eyeshadow colors. I've never touched it, literally never been swatched, so I will be probably donating this. I also have a ton here that I've depotted that I'm getting rid of because I realized that since depotting them, I have never reached for them. So this is a Z palette full of depotted ones. These are all Stila. The round ones are Stila up here. There's a lot of Wet n Wild. These are some of their Halloween ones that aren't actually put out by Wet n Wild. It's like a sister company. And then these are Wet n Wild. This is a Tarte. These are some from the Balm. I don't like the size of these pans. I don't, I don't care for them. I'm also getting rid of these two Wet n Wild blushes, not because there's anything wrong with them. They're super pigmented, but I have so many blushes in my collection and they're so pigmented. They're almost difficult to work with for me and they're also really bright and dark for me. Um, so I'm not gonna keep those. These are three Stila ones that I depotted. These are some Tarte shadows. I don't really care for Tarte's eyeshadow formula at all. I kept a couple. This was from a, like a holiday collection that I depotted. Not worth it for me. These are some Jessie's Girl. I really like the shimmers from that palette, but after I depotted it, I realized I didn't care for the mattes. So I'm getting rid of the mattes. This one goes too. I'm gonna be keeping the Z palettes. I'm just getting rid of the individual shadows. Just FYI. I have a couple singles. This is NYX's Iced Mocha. There's a significant dent in that. I used a lot of that, but I can dupe this a thousand different ways. I'm also getting rid of Milani's Bella Emerald, I'm assuming. I don't know. I tried to depot it, so there's nothing on the back of it anymore. I'm also getting rid of this Jordana Split One in Smoky Green. They're both very beautiful. I just don't need them or reach them. I'm going to get rid of this Elizabeth Mott in Champagne. I got this in, in Ipsy, I believe. It's fine. It's cracked. And I have other champagne shadows that I can use. Bark by e.l.f. This is one of their big shadows. Again, a really great shadow, but not one that I reach for. Similar with Toast It and also Burnt Plum. They're gorgeous, gorgeous shadow shades, but I don't reach for those big shadows. I'm getting rid of NYX, my favorite color. Beautiful color, tons of glitter, and the glitter fallout on it is extreme, so I can't be bothered with that. Jordana Duo, and this is in Splitting Image. Very, very pretty, very pretty, very dupable. I'm gonna get rid of this Hikari Cream Pigment in Mink. It's not really cream enough. If I'm gonna go for a cream, I'm gonna go for one of my ColourPop ones. Urban Decay Intergalactic. This is one of their Moon Dust shadows in this purple color. I will never use it. The intergalactic shadows or the, the moon dust shadows are really cool. I don't go for that kind of glitter on my lids really often. And again, it's breaking, it's so soft. I don't feel like repressing it and it's not a color I go for. Also getting rid of NYX's Root Beer. It's a gorgeous dark brown. I have dark browns in almost every palette I own, so I don't need to keep that. The Essence Gel Liner, because it's super, super dried out. An eyeshadow in Carnival. It's nice, it's taupe. I can get a taupe in like any other palette. Also getting rid of my Pixi Rose Gold. This is a combo blush and highlighter. I don't like the size of this for getting my brush into it. I'm getting rid of this Mica Beauty Eye Primer. I have other eye primers that I like better. This one is really, really thick. It's also drying out. The formula on this is just not for me. You have to pull at your eyes too much, and I just didn't like that. Two mascaras. I have the It Cosmetics Superhero. This one I loved for like the first week or two, and then the formula changed, and it got gross. Also getting rid of the Unique Natural Fibers. I don't like fiber. They bother my eyes. I'm getting rid of 15 eyeliners. Some of them are just in colors I'm never going to use, like this like burgundy color. I've got a blue, a couple blues, some liquid ones that I'm just never going to use, so I'm just getting rid of those. I'm getting rid of this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in porcelain. This looks god-awful on me. I have heard so many people rave about this, so I bought it, tried to use it, hated it. And then I figured... Ah, that was early in my makeup career. Maybe I just wasn't doing it right. Maybe I needed a different primer, a different tool, and I bought it again, and I still hate it, so I'm getting rid of it. I'm not keeping something that I don't like the look of on my skin. I'm getting rid of my Jumbo Pencil in Dark Brown. I'm getting rid of my Milani Lip Liner, a little tiny Tardis one that I got in Sephora Play, and a clear one for anti-feathering because... 
I just don't use them. I have six of my Wet n Wild lipsticks. I'm getting rid of Urban Night, Old School, Wine Room, Move, Out of Here, Ferguson Crest Cabernet, and Smoking Hot Pink. Also getting rid of some hot pinks in a Melted and an OC Lip. Getting rid of my Bite Beauty in this super nude color that I talked about in my Declutter slash Collection. This is in Cafe. Ophrys Queen, because I don't like the formula on this. It's a little too streaky. I'm getting rid of two of my NYX products. This is an intense butter gloss. I don't like the formula on this. And this is a soft matte lip cream, which I do like the, the formula of, but just not this color. Getting rid of this Trustique pencil, getting rid of this brown LA Splash. I'm getting rid of Julep, which is a color pop. And I'm getting rid of Matte Tees by Jordana. A couple reds. This is just a Trustique Chili Red and Urban Decay 69, an Elf pink Too Faced Melted Berry. I don't really like the formula on them. A Matt Hughes Commit It. This is a liquid lipstick, but I just don't like the tone of that. And I'm getting rid of this Too Faced Crazy Crazy Bright Pink. That is box number one. I'm going to first pull out a whole bunch of brushes. I decluttered a ton of brushes, guys. I realized that I had way too many brushes and that meant way too much time spent on cleaning brushes and it also meant that I was just spending way too much time sorting through my collection of brushes to find the ones that I liked the most to use. 51 brushes total that I'm getting rid of. I have two more brushes. 53. Two big bags here that are to donate so I'm gonna go through those in a minute but first I'm gonna go through the rest of this box. First up, I'm gonna get rid of this e.l.f. medium makeup collection. This is eyeshadows, face powders, I think there's mascaras and stuff in here. This can go straight to women in need. I, it's never been opened. It came free with an e.l.f. order like a long, long time ago. Also getting rid of my Born This Way foundation in ivory. I'm panning soft beige right now and I don't love it. It's what I'm wearing today, but I just feel like I have to work with it a lot more than my CC cream. And this is definitely not the right color for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate that as well. Some smudge pots. I have Wine Knot, Brownie Points, and Ain't That Sweet because I have other ones that I just got. When I placed an order, somehow, I don't know why, two of the order came and I did get refunded. So these are just gonna get donated again to a shelter because they've never been open. Somebody else can use those. I'm also getting rid of this Manicodar blush that was way too dark for me that I got in an Ipsy recently my Wet n Wild blush in Rosé Champagne because that's never been opened so that can get donated. A little tiny perversion mascara because I don't care for it. These My Couture highlighting sheets. I don't need it. Liquid highlighter from Pearl Bay Invasion. This is a NYX blush in Soft Spoken. It's gorgeous but I don't need it. This is a NYX blush in Boho Chic. This is getting thrown away because it's too old. Giordano blush in Sandalwood. A NYX blush in Natural. This is a cream that's too old that's getting thrown away. This is a NYX blush in Entertain. Bahama Mama. This is supposed to be a bronzer. In what world am I getting a bronzer brush into that? And I have the full size, so that's gonna go. Getting rid of the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I'm gonna dive into this bag. Another smudge pot, this one is in Cruise and Chic. A liquid eyeshadow in Rose Gold. A big old fat kabuki brush. An e.l.f. blush and e.l.f. eyeshadow. This is brushed copper and a shimmer lip gloss smudge brush. Bare Minerals Moxie Glitter Lip Gloss, as well as this e.l.f. lipstick in Seductive. Liquid Gossamer Highlighter, Champagne gold liquid highlighter by Becca. This is a tinted broad spectrum SPF. Getting rid of this glitter. It's like a purple green blue. I don't use loose glitter. And this is another broad spectrum SPF. So another elf lipstick in Seductive, an ombre blush in Princess Daiquiri's, a blush from Kat Von D in Mickey and Mallory, also Hansel and Gretel, Sid and Nancy, a highlighting powder in Crown of My Canopy. It's too dark for my skin tone. Another one of those elf palettes. A lip injection lip plumper from Too Faced. A NYX Silver Liquid Eyeliner. Nail polish that I don't need. Trustique Blush Cream Blush Stick. Microdermabrasion Scrub. Lippy Stick in Croquette Crumpet. It's a cream formula. It's beautiful. I love the formula. Not the color. Not for me. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this nail polish. I'm getting rid of a Unique Pigment. I'm getting rid of a Jordana Blush in Rose Silk. Couple of these loose NYX Blushes in Silky Rose and Spice. Benefit Do The Hula, a NYX single that I have one already, so I'm gonna donate this one in Bedroom Eyes. I have more eyeliners that went in my first purge. Here's some more eyeliners that are gonna head out. Peacock by NYX, it's a, just a gorgeous blue base, but I don't need it. Also getting rid of Cashmere, which is a gold base. 
I have enough bases that I'm not gonna get use out of that before it goes bad. A Kat Von D tattoo liner, a super group lip sunscreen, a lavender and spearmint lip balm. It's never been opened, somebody else can use, as well as this pomegranate, lemon and pomegranate by C.O. Bigelow, Liquid Suede by NYX, Butter Gloss in Spice Cake. I love the shade, hate this formula. NYX Blush in Pecan, Pecan, like when, why, not on me. Red by NYX. The Nude Dude in Flirty. All right guys, couple more left, I promise we're almost done. I'm getting rid of a Super Goop Fair Light. I'm getting rid of a unique loose pigment in like a lavender color. I'm getting rid of a sinful color in Trend Matters, a kimchi, which is a Bite Beauty really pink lipstick. And I'm getting rid of this one, which came in a subscription service that I never opened, Absolute New York Matte Lipstick in a red color. Kat Von D in Melancholia, it's a light baby pink, it's not cute on me. LOC Wildest Dreams Red Lipstick color. It's LA Splash in Evil Queen, because it has glitter in it and I just can't handle it texture-wise as well as Ouija by ColourPop because I thought this would be adorable and it looks terrifying on me. I'm aware that's a lot. I also have a lot. You'll see it in my final makeup collection when I give you guys my numbers, but I'm really, really excited to have gotten rid of all of this stuff. I know that what I have now is stuff that I'm going to use or I want to use and I want to reach for. I want to learn from my mistakes and I'm upset at this point that they were such costly mistakes, but I've learned. I'm going to just go forward from here, doing my best to make smarter purchasing decisions. I hope you guys can understand that this is not me being ungrateful for the things that I have or have gotten or have purchased or throwing money away purposely without thinking about it. This is my path and my decision for my collection and my panning and getting things to a manageable level for myself. So I hope you can understand that. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got rid of. That's that. I'm gonna have a lot of really happy family, friends, and hopefully women in shelters that could really use this stuff when they go out for job interviews, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, comment down below, encourage me on this journey to like my perfect collection and more successful panning because I'm using products that I love. So hopefully you guys are on board with that and I cannot wait to see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>